previously on the Steve Saga. Well, we've been walking for a while, guys. It's uh, getting nighttime. You think this Diamond Steve's actually taking us to his village? I mean, I hope. I don't know where else he could really take us. He doesn't what? seem like he wants to hurt us or anything. Oh my gosh, there's actually a village here, bro. Since no one is looking, I can show you this. Okay, so I'm guessing no one else knows about this then? What is it? There's oh. a staircase. This looks like definitely no one else knows about this. I'll be right behind you. All right, let's go. Villains aren't always so obviously cut and dry. Sometimes, it isn't simply just an evil looking monster that hates all things good deep down to the bone. Things can be complicated. All the more reason for me to find my friends. That's right, the gang's getting back together. Cause, well, this, this is the Steve Saga. Well, I... Whoa. Uh... Guys? Look at this what place. Is this? this place is insane! Diamond Steve opened up this place right underneath the statue. It probably has some kind of significance with their past and... I don't know, their culture? This is insane, Diamond Steve. Look, we got a pile of gold and, and diamond and... Oh, there's a lot of lava. Watch out, guys. Might want to be careful here. It's like there's... More gold and diamond than you will ever need. Yeah, that's true. Well, a lot of it's ore, but I think we can still kind of try and make do with all of this. Why was this hidden underneath the statue, Diamond Steve? I don't understand. Shouldn't you probably not keep this a secret, seeing as it's, well, so... It looks important, at least. This is the ruins of the ore Steves. The ore Steves, okay? Huh. So, that makes a lot of sense. This place definitely gives off a vibe of you know, oars, you know? Uh, yeah. Not to be confused uh, with the ones for the boat, we, though, of course. Oh, right, yeah. Because row, row, row your boat. What? Gently down the stream. I, okay. Now, merrily, um, let's go ahead and move on. Diamond Steve, if this is the ruins of the, well, of the oar, oar Steves, um, why are you hiding it underneath the, the, the statue or whatever that thing is up there? It seems like you don't really want anyone else seeing this place. Is there a reason? I mean, it kind of seems like it should be important enough to let others see it. Maybe make it like a museum kind of thing. I have my reasons. Okay, well. Uh... Guys, he's, he's nice enough to help us. Maybe we shouldn't pry. You're right. It just kind of seems like it should be opened up for everyone to remember about their past and all that. You know, you don't want to forget about your 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 past, or especially your generations of Steves and all that. Or else, just like from the original world, people forget about how they got their beginnings and where their people came from. But either way, Diamond Steve, thank you for showing us this. It looks like this is definitely going to be able to work for us. It looks like there's a beacon down here. If we can somehow connect this to where the lightning is coming from, then I think we may have a way to be able to close it up. And all of our villages, which we all come from, will be saved. Am I right, guys? Uh, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Village uh, saved. Yep. Uh, absolutely. Yes, 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 absolutely. Mm -hmm, yes, indeed. Shallow and pedantic, indeed. Uh, so, why don't you leave it to us? I don't really know if we have all of the resources exactly that we should probably get. We should probably get a couple more resources. I, I just have a torch on me, so I should probably get more than that. But, we should be able to make this work. Um, Diamond Steve, do you happen to have, and I know this is a lot to ask because I just kind of don't want to take apart the entire ruins of your people that sounds pretty messed up do you have say maybe spare resources of uh golden diamond blocks that we could use rather than taking apart these which again might have some cultural significance to your people that's i don't really want to do that that sounds pretty messed up oh i have a ton of resources in my place oh well do you mind if we stop by there when we uh need to kind of get this going and you know we'll, you can just leave us at this for now and we'll we'll figure this out. What do you say? Of course. All right. Well, we'll we'll come get you. Okay. Uh, we're I'm guessing you'll be back at your house. So we'll come get you if we need you, and we'll get right to work. Yeah. And once again, Diamond Steve, thank you for all your help. This is this is wonderful. Thanks. 
Yeah, no, seriously, you are, you're saving all of our people from the villages all around that lightning in this world. And thank you for helping all of us. Yes, yes, okay, well, you run along now, you, you scoundrel. Yeah, okay, all right. Uh, yeah, uh, hey, guys, do you, uh, do you get a weird feeling from this place? A little uh, bit? Yeah, a bit. I mean, the Diamond Steve didn't want any of his people to see where we, that we were here, let alone this place is hidden underneath the village. Like, no one else is supposed to know that it's here. And I don't know. I'm just not too comfortable right now. Do you think we should, like, maybe reach out to some other people in the village? Wouldn't this freak them out more? Yeah, probably. It'll probably us, cause mass not alone, chaos. Us yeah. being here. Um. Nah, you're right. Okay, we'll listen to Diamond Steve. He is the leader of this village, after all, so we should probably just take his word for it. He's trying to protect his people. Now let's protect our people from our village. Am I right, guys? <laughs> nudge, nudge, yeah. wink, wink. Uh, uh, about that, I mean, yeah. yes, I do get a weird feeling about this place, but I also feel sort of guilty lying to him. I mean, he's really going out on a limb here, helping us out. Look, Guardian, uh, you're, 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 your name's Guardian, right? Nice to meet you, I'm Saber. And I think you're wrong. We've met like so many times. Listen, man, listen, okay? We are helping them. As soon as we use this machine that we create to get out of here, we'll seal up the, the, the crystal thing from the outside and the lightning should stop. So technically, we aren't really lying in the sense that we are helping them. We are just helping them indirectly. It's not really for them, it's for us, but it, it helps them in the end anyways. You told him we were from a village that doesn't exist at all. We are oh. absolutely lying to them. Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead, Garden. Why don't you go up there and explain to them that we're from a different world and we're uh, we're basically aliens to them. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. They're basically this native tribe that has no idea that other people exist at all. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, you can be, be my guest. Go ahead. Oh, okay, I see your point. They might take that the wrong way. Yeah, I, yeah. I get what you're saying here. They're going to freak out. Let alone just the diamond, Steve. He'll probably get the whole village come after us and attack us. Because the only reason we're even safe in here is because the diamond, Steve, is protecting us. If he chooses not to protect us, then we have, a, like, a whole village coming after us. So... <laughs> okay, right. I mean, we're... Yes, we're, we're lying to them for their own good. I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind. Yeah, that always sounds justified, right? Every single time I've heard that, it sounds justified. Um, for this situation, yes, but... Please don't keep that for everything else. Okay, it's justified. I think we've all come to a conclusion that that phrase can be justified in any instance. <sighs> cool, cool. That's good. Right. So moving on, how are we going to make this machine? It looks like there is a beacon at the bottom here, and it's got some kind of significance to the, well, the ore and the, and the diamonds and the gold and all that. What if we use this beacon to connect to, well, where that lightning's happening. It might be able to reach, use it as some kind of, I don't know, relay dish. You guys probably have no idea what that means. Ba back in the Rainbow Town, you guys remember hearing about the Rainbow Town? I had uh, I had basically like these satellite, or not satellite things, these like towers and all that for better connections to certain things. But uh, yeah, let's just, let's just forget about that. And um, I'll show you by making it myself again. It looks like if we just drill straight up through the ground, I don't know where this is gonna take us, but uh, now that I think about it, it'll probably take us in the middle of the village. So we'll have to do this real fast before the villagers realize that we were here because the only way this beacon's gonna work is if we open up the top. So that's- Well, first things first, he said he had other resources. We should probably see what he has so we know what we're working. Oh, good call. I mean, this is a small village though, so let's just give him the benefit of the doubt, but let's not be too upset if he doesn't have that much, okay? Well, yeah. he can literally create diamond. We should be okay, right? I don't know. Let's find out. I mean, a village of this size, he might be wanting to stockpile most of it down here. But he said that he has some backup resources, so let's go check it out real quick. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Forgot that we are kind of in the middle of the village right now, so let's make sure there's no gold Steve's out. Okay. Okay. Guys, Halo. guys, it's clear. It's clear. Oh, Saber. Hey, yeah. Just yeah. quiet. Just yeah, yes, I know. Be quiet. Wait, I said it's clear. Let's go. Come on. Diamond Steve. Diamond Steve. <clears throat> Diamond Steve! Where are you at, buddy? Oh, he's not in here. Oh, okay, that's fine. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. He said that we could just go through his stuff anyways, right? Uh, I don't think he did, but I have a feeling you're going to anyways. He didn't say not to! All right, let's see here. Here's a chest right here. Okay, yep, we're good. Oh. We're good. Yep. Oh, we're good. Oh, dear. Yeah. Okay. Yep, we yep. are, uh... That, that is plenty. All right, so I'm just gonna take a row, uh, row here. <laughs> And in no way do I, I didn't take too much. It's, we're gonna use all uh -huh. this. Yeah. yeah. What are yeah. you gonna use it I for? I didn't take that much. See, I just took one row. It's fine. It's, it's all good. Well, it's, that's a, it's a small amount compared to what he's got. I'm very sure true. Find. 
Plus, I'm pretty sure he can just like sneeze out all of this all over again. So, well, except for the gold blocks, I'm guessing he had to get that from the gold steves, which probably can't make as much. So, that's probably what yeah, took him most time. So, also judging by the amount of houses, I'm sure there's plenty of gold steves for that purpose. Also, there you so, go. That's the way I like to think about it, Guardian. Ah, you're getting, you're getting it, man. Yeah, just give him the benefit of the doubt and not actually be worried. Ah, now, yeah, you know, Guardian's really. <sighs> He's really joining the group well, Alex. I think he's he's uh, he's become one of the team, you know? It's been us for the longest time, and you just now think he's becoming a part of the team? I guess I've, I've, I've helped out a lot. Uh, so I have a bunch of gold and diamond. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. We're probably gonna need a little bit of redstone, but we'll get that, oh right, we should probably be careful because there's a bunch of gold Steves here. All right, okay, you guys good? You good? Guardian! Uh, okay. Don't, don't yell, I'm right behind you. I'm just making sure you're behind us. Okay, so we got plenty of stuff here. If we're gonna work on this beacon, then we should probably move it up. It looks like, is there anything below? It looks like, no, nah, it's just iron. Um, I don't suppose you guys have a pickaxe. I guess I could make one out of literally all this diamond. <sighs> I should probably do that, huh? Yeah. Do you, do you uh, have any wood or anything for a crafting table? No. Nah. We can go grab something nah, if you want. Yeah, yeah. Could you, could one of you, your guardian, could you go grab us just a couple, like a crafting table, some sticks? Yes, yes. Here. Yeah, thank you. I'll be Thanks, right man. back. Okay, now that he's gone, uh, Alex, has he really uh, been here that long? Y yes. Are, are you serious? Huh. Feels like just yesterday he joined. It was so new. He was, he he didn't even know what was happening. He, but now he's just seems to become so wise, you know? He could probably I, look over an entire world at this point. Okay. You sure I could now. I don't understand you. I, I don't understand you, Sadie. All right, Ooga Booga, let's get this going. I need a pickaxe, but before we get the pickaxe, let's talk about how we're gonna make this. There is lava here. We'll probably have to push the lava back a little bit. But if we move up the beacon and we make a little pyramid out of it, I think we should be pretty good on on stuff i mean we could just make it all out of diamond blocks right actually have you worked uh, on a beacon yeah. before uh no okay all right well don't worry because i got it cut oh hey what's up guardian did you get the sticks yep i did um well first here's a crafting table thank um, you my good man i already made a here. couple of sticks oh, for you okay oh wow that is that's that is definitely and, a couple um, of sticks. okay I do have some extra ran away planks. Again. It's fine. I'm just, I, yep, I'm just making, I'm just making some pickaxe. You know, I'll just make us all a diamond pickaxe. Uh, I'll just give you these a couple of extra planks that were left over. Oh wow, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Okay, so here's a diamond pick. Here's a diamond pick. And here's a diamond pick. Oh, thank you, Saber. I really appreciate that. All right, so let's go ahead and move this beacon real quick. Gonna break it. Takes a while. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I got the beacon. Let's go ahead and fill it in. So to make the beacon, you kind of have to like make a pyramid out of blocks. Why don't we go ahead and fill in this very bottom block with just some more uh, diamond. Uh, so we're gonna try and push this lava back. How big of a pyramid are we trying to make here, guys? What do you guys think? Uh, what's required? I I don't know. I mean, I think How as far long do you think as it needs to go? I think as long as it's bigger than a three by three, it doesn't really matter. But the, the more the merrier. So why don't we do, why don't we start it at a, hmm, a, a five, uh, five by five? Yeah. Uh, okay. Sounds good to me. All right. Base layer is going to start uh, with uh, gold. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Okay. All right. And I guess you have all the blocks, so I suppose we'll just we'll just yep, watch. We'll just and sit here. Moral support. Okay. Go, uh, Saber. You can do it. This, this, I'm getting a little bit of passive aggressiveness from you guys, but that's all right. Go, yeah, that's fine. you got it. Okay. All right. Put yeah. the blocks down. You know, I thought I would we really believe in you. I thought I wanted the moral support, but you guys, you guys want to just stand there. Be fine too. That'd be great. We're, guess. we're, we're trying our best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and when, you know what they say: when you try your best and you don't succeed, just stop. Just stop. I don't that, think that's what they say. What is the saying? I don't know. I just didn't think that was oh, correct. Oh, when you try your best, you don't succeed. Try and try again. Go ahead, guys. You're good. Oh, well, at this point, you're almost finished. You don't even really need us. It's already up here. Yeah, no, we're good. We're definitely good. Okay, so now that I did that, let's uh, grab a diamond because we need to put a diamond in here. There we go. And I don't really know how this is going to work because why do they have a beacon in here in the first place? I'm just kind of assuming that this is the key to all of this, but I'm going to be real with you guys. This beacon, I, I'm, I don't know. I, I don't really know. I don't really know how to use it uh, to connect. This is kind of a guess. So, oh my gosh, I know, I know. I need to go up top 
and make the the relay tower or else this isn't gonna work but if i do that i might get seen by the gold steve so how are we gonna do this any um, any ideas uh it's still nighttime. now would still be the best time to do it right while yeah, everyone's okay. still asleep no you're right that is pretty true knowing that we're gonna finish this and complete it and finally get out of here we might actually make it out of here guys i'm i gotta say i'm a little surprised I believed in us, but I'm pretty happy that we're actually gonna be able to get out. It's it's nice to know that us three working as a team is that. What are you guys doing here? Uh, guys, 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 guys. There's a gold Steve here. There's a gold Steve. Uh oh. 